Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a fun DIY face mask. Now I posted these face masks on, uh, I want to say Instagram and Facebook the other day. And this is an in and out face mask. This is a customized face mask that I DIY'd. And yes, I have done face masks in the past, but when I posted these and I posted a couple different types, I got so many of you loving these face masks and asking me how I made them. Now today when I show you how to make this, I'm showing you because not only if you want to do in and out you totally can because Caleb works for in and out and so I made her a bunch of these and then everybody at her work loved them. I made a black one that had uh, just the double palm trees in it. I'll show you that here at the end and everybody loved them and they asked if I'd make them some. And so that's what I'm doing and I thought, well heck, since everybody at in and out wants them and everybody on Facebook is asking me where I got them or how I made them, I figured I'd do a quick video on how to do these. Um, it is going to take a Cricut. Now you can do this with any Cricut, even the new Cricut Joy, and that is what we're using today because Kayla and Allie got me a Cricut Joy for my birthday. My birthday was on July 18th and they surprised me with the new Cricut Joy and I just absolutely love it. It's just a fun little machine so I don't have to pull out the maker and it does a lot of really great things and it's a great budget friendly alternative to getting one of the bigger machines. And so I figured that this was a good excuse to use it and to show you how to make a customized face mask. Now, if you wanted to do this, you can do it using your favorite sports team or your favorite logo of any kind. Um, you just, I will put a disclaimer in that if you do make these, you should not be selling them or publicizing that you're selling them if the logo is a copywritten logo. So anyway, Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it and let me show you just how easy it is to make an in and out face mask or any logo face mask for that matter using the Cricut Joy. You're gonna love this and it's so easy to do. Alrighty, so we're gonna start today's DIY off by looking for our logo by doing a Google image search. Now you'll see up here in the corner, you can go to Gmail or you can go to image. You wanna click on image because when you type in what it is you're looking for, and in my case, it's an in and out logo, and you wanna put that PNG, those three letters after your logo, and that's gonna give you all the logos that Google has. And so you really wanna kinda of look for one that's just a basic image, real plain, and this black and white one seems to be the one that I'm gonna use. So if you go ahead and right click on it and you save image, it's gonna save it to a file on your computer. I also wanted to do in and outs palm trees cause that's kind of an iconic symbol of in and out And so this palm tree logo seems to be perfect. Again, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna save it to my computer. Opening up Cricut Design Space, once you open it up, you're gonna wanna start a new project. So go ahead and press on the plus sign and then it's gonna take you to a blank canvas here. Off to the side of your canvas, you're gonna have different choices here for text, shapes. You're gonna wanna go to the very bottom one, which is upload, you're gonna click on it. And you'll see that it takes you to this screen here and this is gonna be all of your uploads that you uploaded from either your computer or the internet. To upload an image, you're just simply going to click upload image and go to browse. Browse is going to take you to a folder on your computer where you will search for the image that it is that you want to upload into Cricut Design Space. You'll then be brought to this screen here where you will have the choice of simple, moderately complex, or complex. Now that is describing your image. This is a very basic, simple image. There's not a lot of details, so I'm gonna click on simple, click continue, and it's gonna take me to this next screen 
where when I take my mouse and I run it over the picture itself, you will see that the mouse becomes a plus. Just by clicking on that plus anywhere on that picture, it is going to remove the background of your image, just leaving you with the image itself, which is then a PNG image. On this screen here, you're gonna have the choice of saving your image as a print then cut image or save as a cut image. I'm gonna save this as a cut image because I will be using vinyl. Now, if you were going to print it, then cut it using your Cricut, you would probably be printing it and cutting it on a heat transfer of some kind, like a t-shirt transfer. But because I'm using vinyl, we're gonna go this route. With a logo like the in and out it's not moderate. I would say this is still a simple image. So I'm gonna click on simple, I'm gonna click continue, I'm gonna take my plus sign and I'm gonna click on all of the spots that I want empty, that I want nothing to be printed on. And so that's the inside of the arrow, the inside of the O, all of the letters and the background. And again, once I press continue, you can see here that I have got a PNG image of in and outs logo ready to go. Now we're gonna switch gears just a bit and we're gonna go back to our blank canvas and we're gonna go back to the side here and click upload, which is again gonna take us to this screen here. And on this screen here, just by clicking each of the images that you want to add to your canvas, you will see at the bottom here of the screen that the images you clicked on will appear there and those are the images that will be imported to your canvas. Once it's imported to your canvas, you're gonna see that they are giant size and that can very easily be remedied just by going to the bottom corner where the arrow is and shortening it to the size that you want it to be. The measurements that I'm going for for my logos that work well for a face mask are for the in and out sign, I'm going with a three and a half inch in length by two and a half inches wide and for the palm tree it's two and a half by two and a half inches once you've got your image to the size that you want you can go ahead and click make it once you click make it on the Cricut Joy it's going to bring you to this screen here which gives you options because we're using vinyl we're going to need the matte option so I'm going to go ahead and click the matte option you'll then be at this screen here which looks like your Cricut cutting mat off to the side, you're gonna see all of the items that you're cutting on mats. You're gonna wanna click the mirror image on both mats because when you're working with heat vinyl, you need to mirror image your vinyl. Otherwise, when you go to put it on your fabric or whatever it is you're applying it to, it's gonna be backwards. Now we need to set our Cricut to what material it is that we're using and we've got some favorites here. If you don't see what material you're using under favorites, you can go and browse and there are hundreds of materials. I'm gonna go with the premium vinyl setting because I think that's just a good setting to use when using a heat vinyl. Now here is the Cricut Joy. Would you look at how stinking cute this is? It is compact, it is little, and it does some amazing things. It does only come with a power cord and it does connect through Bluetooth to your computer. It also came with this regular adhesive mat that's made just for the Cricut Joy. And this is the vinyl that I'm using. This is one that I got online through Amazon because I buy my vinyl in bulk. Now, again, when using a heat vinyl, you wanna do it with the color side down on the mat. You wanna cut on the back side. Then you're just gonna go ahead and load your mat into the Cricut Joy and it automatically loads, which is really cool. And then your screen on your computer is gonna prompt you to say start cut and then you go ahead and start cut there's not a button on the joy itself to do that and so you can see that it's cutting it's just a basic blade I need to do a bit of research when it comes to the joy blades because I did find that the blade pressure was a bit harder and it was a bit harder to control and so that's probably user error because this is the first time that I've used it and I'm not really sure if there's different blades but what i did see is that under the pressure blade option it only gave me three options and so you can see here that it kind of cut through the vinyl even the um 
transfer paper, but I'm gonna make it work because I don't wanna waste my vinyl. Now taking one of these piercing tools that you can get from the Dollar Tree, this is perfect for removing the excess vinyl from whatever it is that you cut, and that is called weeding. And so it kind of stinks to see some of that vinyl getting wasted, but all in all, like I said, if you buy your vinyl on Amazon, you're gonna save a ton of money because it's so much less expensive and the quality I think is just as good. I'm using a matte finished vinyl because I'm not a glossy person. And so like I said, I'm just gonna remove all of the excess vinyl around my logo. Now when weeding for this particular one, I am removing the red that is inside the arrow and you do wanna make sure and remove all of the vinyl from the inside of your letters like this O and the B, the R and the other R in burger just to make sure that when you iron it on, you've got those holes in the letters. Now when it came to the arrow, in and outs arrow is yellow but it's outlined in red and so I wanted to do that for the masks. So to do that, if you just take your logo in Cricut Design Space and you take that little plus sign and you X everything out, even the word in and out, then all you'll be left with is your arrow and then you can go ahead and cut that out and you're not wasting a bunch of yellow vinyl all that will be cut out is just the inside of that arrow, which is exactly what I want. Now for the masks. I like to use a poly cotton blend of fabric for my masks. Now that is just my preference. It may not be right, it may not be wrong, I don't know, but it's what I use. And I found this pre-cut fabric at Walmart for $5, so I picked up a couple in white and black. Now when making my masks, I like to use two of that poly cotton fabric and I also use a third fabric in the center which is flannel just to give it more I guess of a thickness to make it three layers thick and so if you want to see how I put these together I'll link that video in the description box below that I just did a couple weeks ago so we can kind of keep moving with this one the measurements of these masks for an adult mask I go with seven by nine inches and for a child's mask, I go with an eight by six size fabric. I am unable to get my hands on any elastic, and so a good alternative is to use a real thin ribbon. This is a ribbon that I got at Walmart for a five yard spool. You're gonna pay 98 cents for it. And, and I just leave the strings a bit on the long side so whoever is using the mask can just tie it to fit their size. So. To keep this video going, if you want to see me fully put this mask together, I will link that video in the description box below. Now let's move on to the fun part, putting the logo on. I'm going to start off with the palm tree logo and I'm going to set this right in the center of the mask. Then taking my handy craft iron that I got from Walmart, and I think I paid about $10 for it, I'm going to go over this a few times on the dry setting, not the steam setting. Once I've gone over it a few times, you can see that you can very easily peel up the plastic transfer sheet off of the vinyl. You're gonna need to now accordion fold your mask because you want it to look like a surgical mask. So to do that, once you get your folds, you're gonna place another piece of fabric on top of it to iron and crease those folds because if you run your iron along the top of it, you will melt your vinyl. Now, you do need to hand wash these. I don't suggest washing them on high heat or drying them on a high heat. I just wash mine with an antibacterial soap and wring it out real good and kind of smooth it out and I place it outside and it dries within a half hour, 45 minutes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just take this over to the sewing machine and sew up these edges in the top and we are done. Now, let's move on to the in and out one. The in and out one is gonna go the same way. I'm gonna just go ahead and put the logo on. Once I've got that logo ironed on, I'm gonna go with the yellow arrow inside of the red, and once I place that down, I am going to place another piece of fabric on it just to make sure that I don't melt any of the vinyl. And you will see that these are super easy to do. They're super fun. 
I would suggest doing your logo in a solid color, like if you're doing the Nike logo or anything for that matter, I'd go for a solid logo. When it came to the in and out one, I really wanted to make sure that I placed the logo in the center. So when I did fold this, you would see the in and out in the middle fold there. And so again, I'm just gonna press over this so I can go and sew up the sides and we are done. And that is how you make a custom face mask with your favorite logo on it. Isn't that just so fun? So when you actually open these to wear them, you will see that your logo is right in the middle. And so I think that these are really fun to wear. And if you do it just the way I did it, you're gonna have the same outcome. It really isn't hard to do it all. I think it's really budget friendly if you already have a Cricut or a Joy on hand. Okay, I'm gonna say it, I absolutely love the Cricut Joy. I love it, love it, love it. And when I get these new DIY tools and accessories, I just get so stinking excited because, yes, I do have a collection of Cricuts, but you know what, honestly, I really kind of need them because I bring such a variety of DIYs to you all. And I try to bring DIYs for those of you who do have the Cricut. And I know that there are some of you who don't have them. I just feel like there are so many people out there that have a Cricut Explore, a Cricut Expression, a Maker, or maybe now even a Joy that has stayed in the box that maybe they got gifted and maybe they were a little intimidated to use it. But now you can see just how easy it is to use it and use it in Cricut Design Space and all the great things that you can do with them, not only for yourself, but for gift ideas. It really does make for budget-friendly gift ideas. And like I said, you can always get that vinyl on Amazon. You can find the link to that vinyl in the description box below in my Amazon store. And you get a lot more of the vinyl on Amazon buying it in bulk than you would get buying it at Joann's or Michael's. I hope you all enjoyed today's Cricut Face Mask DIY How to Customize One. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay positive, and bye for now, everybody. <laughs>